We are now on the mountains of Hebron, near the settlement of Karmetsur. Here there was a Jewish fortified city called Betsur. The Greek army decided to continue the war. But this time, the Greek army came not from the north, not from the west, but from the south. Let us read a few verses from the book of the Maccabees. When Lysias heard of the downfall of his three generals, Gorgias, Nicanor, and Ptolemy, he was enraged. We have seen the defeat of the Greek army in the third battle. So, this time, Lysias came with a bigger army. He began to prepare for yet another military campaign in Judea, firmly determined to break, once and for all, the rebelliousness of the Jews. He amassed 60,000 soldiers and 5,000 select horsemen and set out to war with Yehuda. This time, Lysias decided he would attack from the south. He came from the south, from the mountains of Hebron. He and his army made their way via Lachish to the Hebron mountains and camped there in Beit Sur, south of Bethlehem. This is the area of Beit Sur, south of Gush Etzion. Yehuda the Maccabee did not hesitate and set off towards Lysias with 10,000 men. Judah did not wait in Jerusalem. He came to this area in order to attack the Greek army. And he succeeded. He attacked the Greek army and they lost 5,000 soldiers. But they decided they were determined to continue the war. But an, a miracle happened. What was the miracle? Lysias heard that Antiochus, the Greek king, was wounded in the war in Persia and he decided to take his army and leave the land of Judea. Let us read. Lysias took his defeat in battle very badly. He then heard as well that King Antiochus had also been defeated in his battles with Persia and that the king was ill and, and wounded. In light of this event, Lysias decided to return quickly with his army to the capital city Antioch Antiochia and take part in the struggle to succeed Antiochus and rule the kingdom. The next morning, Yehuda and his men were astonished to see the entire tremendous Greek camp speedily running away down from the uh, area of, of uh, Betsur towards the sea. We can imagine the Greek army running away to the sea from this mountain. And Yehuda, after this great victory, decided that this is the right time to go to Jerusalem and to purify the temple. He took his men, he took his men with him to Jerusalem and there he purified the temple. Come with me to Jerusalem and let us take part, participate in the great celebration of Yehuda and his men in Jerusalem. Come with me. After the fourth battle in which Yehuda saw the Greek army running away, Yehuda decided to come to Jerusalem and to purify the temple that was contaminated by the Greek regime and by the, the Mityavnim, their uh, uh, Jewish supporters. We are now on the Scopus, on Scopus Mount, Haratzofim, 
overlooking Jerusalem, overlooking the Temple Mount. And to this site, to the Temple Mount, Yehuda came in order to inaugurate the Temple. This is what we read in the book of the Maccabees. Following the happiness and thanksgiving, Yehuda stood before his men and said to them, let us go up to the holy temple. Let us purify it and conduct there once again the holy service to our God. This was after the fourth battle. And so with song and trumpet blasts, the entire camp set out for Jerusalem. When Menelaus and his priests saw Yehuda great company approaching Jerusalem, they ran toward the fortress the Greeks had built for them. So the uh, Greek and the uh, Jewish supporters of the uh, uh, Greek regime, they ran away from uh, the Temple Mount and Yehuda could enter the Temple Mount and purify the Temple. They found a little jar in which there was pure oil and that oil burnt for eight days and that miracle that the oil of that little jar burnt for eight days this miracle encouraged them and made their uh, happiness and their joy even greater let let us read a few sentences from the book of the Maccabees about that happiness. On this day, the temple hall was illuminated by the lights of the new candle, candle broom, while on the altar, while on the altar, the daily sacrifice was once again offered morning and evening throughout the day multitudes of people prayed in the courtyards and balconies of the temple everywhere was heard the music of the levites thanking and praising god with their song and instruments for the great salvations he had wrought for his people and so for eight full days they continued to celebrate and sing and praise god for all his everlasting goodness and kindness. Just as the tabernacle was dedicated for eight days in the times of Moshe. And from that celebration, we have the this, this celebration that uh, for generations, the, the Hanukkah celebration for, for eight days. But that was not the end of the war because the Greek regime decided to continue the war. They did not give up. And Lysias came again with a, even a larger, a bigger army to the mountains of Hebron in order to try to oppress and to destroy the rebellion. So let us go to the, again to the mountains of Gush Etzion and there we shall describe the fifth battle of Yehuda. Let us come and go with me.